Good morning everyone. So today is Thursday the 4th of February and day four in our Mental Health Awareness Week and also day four in our five ways to wellbeing. And so the aspect of wellbeing I want to focus on today is around learning and in particular keeping learning. So learning isn't something that kind of happens in isolation. It's something that we can continue to engage with throughout our lives, um, giving us lots and lots of positive aspects of well-being. So one of the main things about learning is we often do it with others. So it's a shared experience and something that can help build and develop our kind of social networks. Evidence shows continuing to learn throughout our lives can help to improve and maintain our mental well-being. Learning boosts our self-confidence and our self-esteem. There is lots of evidence to show that the opportunity to engage in work or meaningful activities like learning can really help to lift low mood as well. Some studies have shown that throughout our lives, learning is associated with greater satisfaction and optimism and an improved ability to get the most from our lives. There are lots and lots of positive aspects to setting goals and working towards those. They play an important role in the way learning influences our well-being. Many forms of learning involve being with other people and that helps us to continue that learning path so we can support each other with that. So I know you're all working online, doing your online lessons, um, but please keep learning. Maybe while you have this time, when you're at home with family, you can learn new skills. So maybe learning to cook a new dish, any other things that you feel you're interested in and you're engaging with. Keeping learning is a very, very important aspect of well-being. Thank you.